Hello and welcome to Understanding Text Similarity. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between plagiarism and text similarity. When some text similarity is expected in your writing, how to ensure that it is appropriate, and what resources are available to help. What is the difference between plagiarism and text similarity? Plagiarism is when someone uses the ideas or words of someone else and presents them as their own. Or they use another's ideas or words and do not give proper credit to the author. Text similarity, on the other hand, is when the ideas or words of someone else are simply present in one's work, even when they are quoted and cited properly. Text similarity can be entirely expected and appropriate based on the expectations or requirements of your assignment. Instructors expect to see some text similarity in your writing when you are using direct quotes or textual evidence from other sources to support your ideas. Perhaps surprisingly, listing references such as in-text citations or bibliographic information can be flagged as text similarity when using a similarity checking tool. So can the use of common facts or definitions, which typically don't need to be cited. In these instances, it's best to speak with your instructor to verify if citations are needed. To clarify, when writing for academic purposes, instructors expect to see a reasonable amount of text similarity. Any direct quotes or evidence pulled from sources that are quoted and cited are appropriate forms of text similarity. However, in creative genres, like writing a poem or a story, text-based evidence is not needed to develop your ideas. Instructors expect little to no text similarity in these types of assignments. So when working on an assignment that is expected to have some text similarity, how can we ensure that it is appropriate? This process actually begins before you start to write, when you make a plan for managing your time. Use a calendar to plot all of your commitments, whether they are personal or for school or work, and then schedule recurring time to work on your project. Consider chunking the assignment into manageable tasks that you will complete in sequence over time. Ultimately, give yourself deadlines and stick to them. Do future you a favor by using effective research and note-taking strategies from the start. First, decide which methods and tools work best for you to keep your information organized. Then, take notes about each source that include details about where it was found, what it says, and why you think that information connects to your topic. This will help you see the connections between sources and ideas as you write. And it will be much easier to list bibliographic references and inline citations. While you're writing, consider when it is most effective to quote, paraphrase, or summarize sources. Quote when an author has stated an idea in a way that can't be said any better. Paraphrase when you want to clarify or emphasize an idea in your own words. Summarize when you need to condense a large amount of text into one or two shorter sentences. No matter which strategy you use, always include a citation in order to give credit to the original author. This means including in-text citations as well as bibliographic material at the end of your writing. After you've finished your paper, 
use a similarity checking tool to evaluate your text similarity. Compare the amount of text similarity to the amount of original ideas you present in your writing. Consider the task expectations to determine how appropriate this balance is and whether or not it needs to be addressed. Then, check that all in-text citations and bibliographic references are present and properly formatted. Finally, talk to your instructor before you submit the assignment. Be honest about the work that you are doing, any concerns that you have, and see what your options are. Your teachers are more likely to help you work through these issues up front rather than if you wait until after the assignment was due. The teachers at Turnitin have developed several resources to help you ensure your text similarity is appropriate before, during, and after you write. We offer guides to help you avoid plagiarism with quick reference tips and full presentations to explore this topic more deeply. Review our lesson on effective research strategies and use our research planning worksheet to organize your source information while you write. Turnitin offers a similarity report that highlights the text similarity present in your writing. This report can help you see where you may need to quote, paraphrase, summarize, or cite your sources more effectively. Use the student guide to understanding the similarity report to help you interpret your score and identify next steps to effectively revise your writing as needed. You can take a deeper dive into any of the resources and features shown here by clicking on the links provided in the webpage description. Thanks for watching Understanding Text Similarity. Visit us at turnitin.com to learn more.